Hey everyone, my name's Braden. We're going to go over how to create box plots with Python. I created another in-depth video on this topic, and I'll link that in the description below. You can check that out if you want more details. Otherwise, this is a video just to quickly get us up and going. To get started, we'll want to import pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and seaborn. If you're using Jupyter Notebooks, you may need to include this line here for your charts and graphs to show up. Then we'll read in some fake data that I made. It has customer satisfaction on five different products. This data is available on my GitHub. I'll provide the link in the description below. We can create a box plot very quickly with Seaborn using the SNS box plot command and then we include the iterable data that we want. This will give us the box plot below. It's functional, but it's not very pretty. We can change the orientation of it, so rather than horizontal, vertical, by using this command here, orient, and then specifying V. If we wanted to make it a little prettier, we can use a little bit of Seaborn and matplotlib, to create a nice box plot like this one here. So what I'm doing is setting the style to white. When I'm using a single box plot, I like to use this style. And then we're creating the figure and axes. And then we create the box plot and set the titles and X label. So insightful title, satisfaction. We're removing the borders on the top and the right so we use sns.dspine and we're setting the x-axis to go from 1 to 5 and only including whole numbers and then we add text with this light purple plum color behind it right here to provide more context for anybody viewing our graphs we can call plt.tightLayout that helps keep everything on the actual image when we go to save it. We can save our figure using this command here, plt save figure with the name that we want to save it as. And we can also set transparent as true. This will just give it, rather than a white background, a transparent or clear background. And then our DPI. I don't want to save it, so I'm just going to keep that commented out. If you're not using Jupyter Notebooks, make sure you're using plt.show. All right, so if we want to create a set of box plots on one figure, we can do so with this following code. So it'll end up looking like this. What we do is set the style as white grid. I like this for multiple box plots because it helps us read the data a little bit better. Then we're creating our figure and axis. We're also then creating our box plot. If you liked notches in your box plots, you can add this command here. We'll add a title here. I didn't include X and Y labels. You may want to depending on what your title is, if it's clear what's going on with the box plots. Then we're going to specify our X values. So rather than using the names of the variables, we want to use these names. I have a backslash n here, which is going to put the satisfaction on a new line. And then we're going to set these values as our x ticks values. And then we're just going to apply our x values to our x ticks. And then we're going to have whole numbers on our y axis, like so. We'll despine. This time we're going to take off the top, right, left, and bottom. This little bit of code here allows us to specify what colors we want for each box plot. This isn't necessary. Seaborn uses some pretty good colors, but if you wanted to customize it a little bit, here's how you do it. So you would say what colors you want each of your box plots to be, and then you'll create a dictionary of your colors and your X values, and then you'll apply that to each of your boxes using this set of code here. This next little bit of code isn't necessary, but it can add some value to your box plots if you want. So what we're doing is adding in the mean and standard deviation into little boxes here below each of our box plots. 
So we can do that by setting our mean, setting our standard deviation, adding that to our text string, and then creating a dictionary here and applying and setting that on to our box plot graph. We do that for each box plot and then we call our save figure and tight layout and show the figure. So this is what we end up getting. This looks really good. However, the use of color could be better if we want to focus the viewer's attention on a particular case. For instance, we might want to highlight this product here because of its low median value. Also, we may want to sort these in descending order to help the viewer read the data a little bit better. Including the mean is helpful, but potentially confusing because we have the means for each of our values, but then the box plots are actually showing the medians. So we can change that up in our code below. So what we do here is create our ordered data frame, and then the same as above, set the style, create the figures and the graphs, set a title. We're going to change the order of these X values to match the order of our data frame, and then set the X labels, and then we'll remove the borders just like we did above. So we need to make sure we change the order of the text here to match with each of our box plots. We're going to use the median this time. We're going to take out the standard deviation and then we will save our figure if you want to or just show it or both. And here we see that now it's a little easier to read. We have our box plots in descending order based on the median. We have the median values and we're drawing the attention of our viewer to this box here and it's in red to say, warning, hey, look at this. This product has a really low value. And that's how to create box plots using Python and Seaborn. This version was as fast as possible. If you want more explanation, you can check out my other YouTube video. Otherwise, thank you for watching.